Hello everyone, my name is Matthew, and I would like to welcome you to the White Nerdy Nation. First off, I would like to give a big shout out to Weird Al Yankovic, who inspired the name for this channel. He's been a big inspiration to me, especially in the pursuit of the accordion. I currently have two, as well as the concertina. Also, Al has been a great inspiration for the younger generation, with his appearances in children's programming, and voiceovers in animated programming, including My Little Pony as Cheese Sandwich. Thank you, Al. You are an inspiration to us all. Today, I would like to talk about Marvel's The Gifted on Fox. Yes, I know that the first season is already over, but it was a very good program and worthy of a white and nerdy rant. First off, I would like to say that the first episode had a couple of moments that made me laugh. The first one was a cameo. It was quite humorous to see Stan, the man Lee, walk out of the mutant bar. I always knew he had superpowers, but never knew he was a mutant. Also, when Reed Strucker calls Eclipse to get help for his children, Eclipse ringtone is the X-Men theme song from the 90s animated series. I've already looked for that ringtone for myself. Now it's time to talk about some questionable portions of the series. First off, Lorna Dane, a.k.a. Polaris, was a mainstay in the X-Factor comic. But when did she start this relationship with Eclipse? I thought she and Havoc were an item. Perhaps, perhaps they could not use Havoc, as he was part of X-Men First Class. Now about John Proudstar, a.k.a. Thunderbird. As far as I knew, he was killed during the first official mission as an X-Man in X-Men number 94-95 in 1975. But you know Marvel. They never let the dead rest in peace. Another issue is with Clarice, a.k.a. Blink. The Blink that I knew was from an alternate universe where Apocalypse ruled. How did she get to this universe? Even the Strucker family as heroes is questionable to me. Baron Wolfgang von Strucker was a villain and a nemesis of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Captain America. His children were the mutants known as Fenris, which is talked about in the series and are related to the main characters. Okay, Sentinel Services. Where are the big purple robots? I'd even settle for the Sentinel Prime of Operation Zero Tolerance, rather than these wannabe droidekas that were only seen in an episode or two. Another question. Where does this really fit into the timeline? Has the Mutant Registration Act been passed? Is Senator Kelly a proponent of Sentinel Services? Did Graydon Creed get elected president? We may never know. If you'd like to learn more about these ideas, comment below. Well, I think that's enough for now. I still have a few more episodes to watch, so I'll probably give another rant later. If you would like to join the White Nerdy Nation, please subscribe, give us a like, and stay tuned. So, in the words of the Generalissimo, Stan the Man Lee, Excelsior, true believers!